Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about text weights. Now, the only real way for me to explain to you what text weights is to actually just show you. So uh, let me type in the words hot dog. Now, if I press enter, what do you think it's going to give me? You were right. It's going to give me a delicious hot dog. But say if I don't want a hot dog, I actually want a hot dog. The dog which is hot. This is where text weights comes in. Now, usually we would separate our sentences with a comma to indicate a particular thing. But in all honesty, Mid Journey doesn't really understand commas. So it doesn't really matter whether you put them in there or not. They're usually just for our benefit rather than for Mid Journey's benefit. Though, Mid Journey does have a way to separate certain concepts. So if I type in imagine, I can put hot and then two colons next to each other and then dog with two colons next to each other. And what this tells Mid Journey is that it is a hot dog. Now let's see what that looks like. Now, as you can see, we actually have a hot dog. This one looks fantastic. This one looks a lot more abstract. And this one's drowning. So maybe he's hot and he needs to go in the pool, maybe. <laughs> That's quite a creative one. And this one's quite cool as well, but I really do like this. So you can see that Mid Journey has noticed the difference between what is a hot dog and what is a hot dog. So let's have a little bit more fun. If you scroll down. This is one that I did earlier. This is a dog, colon one, next to a house, colon three. Now what this means, the one and the three indicates what is more important. So number three would be the most important number and one will be the least important. So in this picture, you can see we have a dog who is quite small and the house, which is much bigger in the image. Now let's reverse that and see what happens. I've now reversed it and it's now a dog, colon three, next to a house, colon one. And as you can see, the dog is much more of a prominent feature in the picture than the actual house. You can also use negative numbers. If you wanted to get rid of something within the picture, you could use colon minus and then the number, whether it's a five or a four, to indicate that you don't want that inside your image. Now, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next tutorial and I'll see you soon.